what up what up what up your boy back with another video and uh today we're finally gonna be starting with the crx build or rebuild should i say i'm pretty stoked to get this thing on the road today is pretty much gonna be uh an eventful day in the sort of getting this thing all cleaned up as of now i think uh I'm just gonna try to clean out the engine bay and wash the car, wash all under it and on the interior, clean it up real good. And I hope y'all like the video. But as I always say, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and stick around for a while and watch this build series because I do think it's gonna be a good one. But there is the first thing that I need to do with this car. And that is, like I told y'all before, this thing doesn't even start up. So I need to try to crank it over by hand and see if it uh, is seized or anything. Hopefully it's not, fingers crossed. But the starter is good on the car. I did take the to O'Reilly to get that checked out. But now I'm about to go jack up the car, take off the front driver's side wheel, and see if I can get a socket on the crank pulley bolt and try to spin this thing over. And I actually can't even push the car, so I have to work on it over here in the corner. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gotta take these spark plugs off first. When I purchased the car, I knew that it would be a steal when I opened the hood and saw a B16 motor swap already done. But there was only one controversial factor. The car wouldn't start. They really look fairly new, to be honest. After talking it over with a few friends of mine, I realized that it would still be a decent deal, being that my only problem was likely a power or grounding issue. But they didn't make me any less nervous. After all the anticipation, the time has arrived for me to try and crank the motor over by hand. Moment of truth. It's spin. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. It crank over. That's actually a relief. Because now I know it's some electrical. Just gotta figure out what that is. Now that we finally got that squared away and I'm so, so, so happy that I got this thing cranked over, uh, making sure the motor isn't seized so now I don't have to figure out motor problems. It's just more so an electrical problem. And I'm leaning more towards the battery connectors because I don't know, I had them tight, but I feel like I just need brand new battery connectors. But if it isn't that, then I'm gonna have to search, you know, the fuses, relays, and any other switches that I don't know are in the car and, uh, you know, see what's going on with the starting issue. But I'm not gonna do that today, actually, because I do wanna empty the gas tank and, you know, make sure we get fresh fuel. We have the spark plugs are fairly new, look like it. And uh, other than that, we should be able to start it maybe next video. Hopefully, but yeah, uh, I'm pretty much just gonna change up the style of video that I usually do and go ahead and try to uh, Just give you a bunch of good clips of me just doing everything from here on out and it's mostly gonna be just cleaning the car up So uh, let's go ahead and clean this CRX I know the car has been sitting for three to four years, but there was no reason for it to be as dirty as it was. During the initial pressure washing, there was all kinds of grass and dirt flying around. Paint was flaking from everywhere. I even had to remove quite a few hornets and wasp nests from the engine bay. But it was all worth it in the end. I didn't bother covering the intake filter because it'll be dry by the time the car starts anyways. And don't worry, yes, I know to re-oil it before use. One thing I've learned to appreciate is working on a clean car. I'm glad that I took the time out to clean the engine bay, wheel wells, and even some spots under the car, because my future self is gonna thank me for it.
I'm not even about to sit up here and lie to y'all. Like, I don't think that this car right here is looking good to me right now. And uh, yeah, I'm so hyped on the, the hood of it. Not even gonna lie to y'all. Look at this. Like the hood is still kind of wet right now, but this is a short little glimpse that you'll get on what it's gonna look like. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna repaint the car anyway, so it's not gonna be exactly looking like this, but you get the idea. But yeah, I'm running out of daylight today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this video on another day. It might not be tomorrow because I do have to work, so uh, I mean, it's only like two or three seconds for y'all, but let's skip to the next day. I'm not even about to lie to y'all like this CRX hasn't worn me out for the day trying to get it clean but I can finally sit in it Ugh, ouch <laughs> I can finally sit in it and I smell this pina colada auto scent that I have and it smells quite nicely everything is looking like it's coming together other than the thing still won't start up but that's gonna be for next video i do have uh an idea an idea and a, a couple steps that i want to take and i believe that's actually gonna start the car up because if you did see earlier in the video we can crank it over and the engine is still lubricated but that's enough on that uh it does look like it's about to start raining so i'm about to go ahead and end the video right here if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave some positive vibes in the comment section below and let me know what y'all want to see with this car and do you guys think we're going to get this thing started next video if you do then let me know in the comment section but if you don't tell me why if you aren't subscribed to the channel you might want to go ahead and do so because i do drop some fairly nice automotive content and i believe you should stick around a while and enjoy the content but always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank you all for watching <laughs>